Wondering what website platform is right for your business? Stick around for this video to find out. Hello, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Kinsey. I'm the brand and web designer behind Kinsey Green Design. And if you're not new, welcome back. So today I'm going to be talking about four different website platforms in detail. Those are Squarespace, WordPress, Shopify, and Showit. The reason I'm only going to talk about those four in detail is because those are the platforms I personally work on and recommend to my clients. I will briefly touch on Wix and Webflow at the end of this video, but for the most part, I'm going to be talking about those four that I just mentioned. So first up, we have Squarespace. Squarespace is one of my absolute favorite platforms because it's user-friendly. It offers a great selection of starter templates for people who don't know how to code. It does have an e-commerce component and it has an entire newsletter slash email marketing section built in. So you can actually send out all of your email campaigns and everything right from the Squarespace dashboard. Squarespace websites are also super easy to maintain after they've been built and require little to no upkeep. I typically recommend Squarespace to people who are looking for a clean design, may not be the most tech savvy, have a small amount of e-commerce products, if any, and enjoy the minimalist or modern look. That doesn't mean that Squarespace websites can't be fun and crazy and have lots of color, but a lot of the templates that are on Squarespace for people to utilize are very clean, minimalist designs. It's also important to note that Squarespace does have a booking feature built into it. Although if you're wanting super advanced functions or features for your website, you may need to look at a different platform like WordPress. WordPress is probably the biggest name in the web design industry. It's been around for a very long time, and as a result, it's often referred to as the SEO king. If you aren't familiar with SEO, that is also known as search engine optimization, how you get found on Google. Personally, I think that SEO is good on all four of these platforms that I'm talking about. Although, as I stated before, WordPress has been around a really long time and has a huge reputation, especially when it comes to SEO. WordPress is an open source platform, meaning there are millions of people that contribute to the plugins and add-ons that you can install on your WordPress website, making this probably one of, if not the most customizable website platform to date. That being said, WordPress has a huge learning curve in comparison to something like Squarespace. WordPress also requires you to sign up for a hosting provider like Bluehost. The other platforms mentioned allow you to sign up for everything right through the platform's dashboard, whereas on WordPress, you have to go through a third-party hosting provider, and there are a ton of different options when it comes to that. So I will leave a link to my blog post that actually goes in detail about the different hosting providers in case you are thinking about going with WordPress. It does contain an e-commerce component if you need to add e-commerce to your website, and you can pretty much build almost anything you can think of on this platform. However, WordPress requires much more upkeep and maintenance than these other platforms platforms, and I typically recommend WordPress to people who want a really complex or cool looking design and need special functions or features on their website. Next up, we have Shopify. Shopify is the perfect fit for most large scale e-commerce businesses or businesses that offer products in person and online. As a designer, I find this platform to actually be less customizable than Squarespace and can sometimes actually be frustrating to work with when you're trying to make certain design changes or features. That being said, Shopify does come with apps that you can install as add-ons and add a lot of features that the default templates don't necessarily always come with. However, if you are a service-based business, I definitely would recommend staying away from Shopify. And lastly, we are going to talk about Showit. Showit is probably the lesser known out of these four platforms, and it has gained momentum in recent years. It's built specifically for photographers and is a great fit for people who are showcasing a lot of photos or service-based business providers. Showit does not have an e-commerce platform, so it's very important to keep that in mind and look at your long-term goals before deciding if this platform is right for you. That being said, Showit is an absolutely zero code platform and it is extremely customizable in terms of design. It's almost kind of like a Photoshop for websites. It also has a section for blogging that connects to WordPress. I'm not going to go into too much detail about how Showit works, but this platform is a good fit for somebody who doesn't need e-commerce and likes a more complex looking website. Now that we've kind of touched on all four of the platforms I work on, I'm gonna do a brief recap with a breakdown of each of the pros and cons to these. So you guys can screenshot this if you want to look over it later or reference it when you are making your final decision about your website platform. 
Squarespace is user-friendly, has a very clean design, great for non-tech savvy people, does have an e-commerce component, and has a built-in newsletter system. WordPress is amazing for SEO, super advanced websites, does have an e-commerce component, and is extremely customizable, but has a huge learning curve. Shopify has limited customization and is best suited for businesses whose main focus is just selling products. Showit does not have any e-commerce, is a completely no-code platform, great for service-based businesses, and bloggers. Now that we've gone over the four platforms I personally love and work on, I'm going to briefly touch on Wix and Webflow. Wix is probably one of the more popular platforms. However, I personally do not build on Wix. I do not think that it is a sustainable platform. The reason I personally feel that way is because over the years, Wix has gotten a crazy reputation for being really bad with search and optimization. Although they have claimed to improve that over the years, I've also noticed some other odd things about Wix that I personally do not care to work with, like the fact that sometimes when you upload photos, it has a weird grain sharpness to it that shouldn't be there. And ultimately at the end of the day, Wix is primarily built for people who are just DIYing their website. I've probably looked at hundreds of thousands of websites over the years, and I can always identify a Wix website. Again, it's because it has some weird sharpness to a lot of the design elements that are uploaded to it. It's hard to explain. If you're not a web designer, you're probably not going to fully understand what I'm talking about, and that's okay. I just wanted to touch on this platform because I know there are still a lot of people out there that do use Wix. The other platform I wanted to briefly touch on is Webflow. I haven't really gone too much into Webflow myself, but it has been gaining popularity over the years and I have heard nothing but good things. Webflow does have an e-commerce component and is primarily a no code platform. I often see a lot of tech style looking websites built on Webflow, but that doesn't mean that it's exclusive to that style. All right, that is it for this video. Hopefully this has helped you come to a decision about your website platform. If you have any further questions, please do leave a comment. And if you got some value out of this video, give it a like and subscribe if you aren't already. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.